Kyler Alexander on the mound for the Tigers. Fastball cutter. He likes to throw it in a lot, but he must get it in. Don't leave it over. Three runs or less his last four starts. Shohei Otani leads things off. The 0 for 3 yesterday. And there's a ball well hit into the gap in left center field. An extra base hit for Otani to start the proceedings this afternoon. Got this pitch upstairs. Didn't try to pull it. Stayed back on it and lines a fastball. Left center field. 18th double the season for Shohei Otani. Lee to help shore up the win yesterday. A lot of backspin on that one to the right side of the infield. Alexander just gets there in time. Boy, Mike made that awfully close. And it works essentially as a sacrifice with Otani getting to third and less than two out. And now it's Luis Renjifo, the switch hitter, in from the right side. The infield in for the Tigers. And Renjifo makes it a 1 0 ball game. You know, that's the danger. When you bring the infield in like that, Matt, early in the game, you're saying, well, first of all, you don't know how many runs you're going to score offensively. But with the infield in, your percentage of getting a hit increase. The infield's back there, that's going to be an out. Instead, it's an RBI single for Renjifo. Love to see that early on, scoring some runs. a man on first, one on second, and a fly ball out to center that Green got kind of a strange start on. Plenty of time for him, however. Tagging up and heading to third is Renjifo. And there are runners at the corners with two away. Behind the plate today. First pitch to Joe Adele. High fly ball out to center field, and the Angels will settle with one run to start the afternoon. A run on a couple of hits. Well, for Reed Detmers, start number 19 this afternoon, coming off another great one, a nine strikeout performance exactly a week ago against the Twins at home. Didn't factor into the 5 3 decision for the Angels. Reed has been great ever since the one start reassignment in Salt Lake. From the right side and the 1 2 delivery, and he swings at that one, and it's just out of the reach of David Fletcher. He jumped up as high as he could. How the glove up above his head and that one just cleared him Let's make her for him. Blows it by Baez to strike him out to away in the first. Haas to right field. Ward is under it. He's got it. The Tigers threaten fail to score as the rain starts to fall here in downtown Detroit. We are through one. Velasquez was a pickup from the Yankees in the offseason. Waiver pickup in. But again on three and two there's a ball well hit the other way Castro back he looks up and it's gone Andrew Velasquez opposite field homer number six for him this year and it's two nothing Angels that's the big thing opposite field home run for Andrew Velasquez number six of the season Harold Castro leads things off in the Tigers half of inning number two that one out to right field and it bounds off the base of the wall. Ward plays it cleanly, but not before Castro can get it a second with a leadoff double. The first pitch to Scope, line drive, base hit into right field. Castro will be waved around third as that ball gets up the gap. Scope around first, heading into second. He'll go in standing up. Two doubles here in the second inning. Very well by Sandoval yesterday. Fastball out over the plate, lines at right center. 20th double. 34th RBI for a guy that has struggled with fastballs this season. And Barnhart punches one into right. That's on an 0-2 pitch. They're going to wave scope around. Throw to the plate is in plenty of time to get him. They're going to call scope out having left the baseline anyway. And now scope appears to have hurt himself a bit in trying to avoid the tag. Ankle in the second here trying to score on the Tucker Barnhart single to right. He's done for the day, did he? Yeah, it looks like he slipped trying to go around the catcher. And this is an example of how the runner is susceptible because of the Posey rule or, you know, how they've changed the rule a little bit. And here's the payoff pitch home. Lost him off ball four. Those are a couple of really good takes by Willie Castro and he gets credited with an RBI on a bases loaded walk. Adele hammers that into left. Reyes falls down as he makes the catch. It's going to be good enough to tag and score Renjifo. If he doesn't go down and fall down it, it might be a tougher decision to send him. He's coming in on the baseball. That was on the line. Nice at bat for Joe Dell getting the job done. He was back up three to two on a sack fly. That ball was crushed 111 miles per hour. 
One gone for Jammer Candelario with a runner aboard at third. Candelario, one of the two strikeout victims for Detmers so far today. This is the second. To right field. Taylor Ward has it. Here's the tag from Haas. Ward's throw is not in time. Tigers have tied it back up here in the third on the sacrifice fly from Jamer Candelario. And now Victor Reyes with a ball in his center. Wow. Oh, catch by Mike Trout saves the run. Oh, wow. How did he catch that baseball? The 3 2. Low and in, Jamer Candelario. Draws a one out walk here in the fifth inning. Start to be comfortable with Dead Vines. Oh, there we go. Clemens with his second hit of the day. Phil going with the Belichick vest on a hot day game in Detroit. And going to his bullpen with one gone in the fifth. Four of the Angels have gone to the bullpen for the first time today. Jaime Berea on with one out and two runners aboard. Arm out of the bullpen, ground ball up the middle and into center field, not the better Victor Reyes. Candelario being waved around third, and he will score. Trout's throw to third, not in time. Off the glove of Renjifo, going into second base is Victor Reyes. Tigers take a 4-3 lead on the Reyes. Two-out single here in the fifth. Uh, good, another good buggy whip, I'll tell you there. Swinging the bat, that ball was scalded into center field, and then well, almost a wild throw as Clemens got into third base. But another good swing by the Tigers. This is, this is nice to see. Over to keep him cool here in the seventh. Lang in a wall side window's pitching change. Appearance number 54 for the Tigers righty. Candelario playing shortstop, the lone infielder on the left side. The 2-2. Swing and a miss. He got him with a curveball. I tell you, man. And Otani will hobble back to that dugout on the first base side. Yep. Got him. Back-to-back -back punch outs of Otani and Trout. Sparkling seventh for Alex Lang. Had a ton of double plays be turned behind him. Nine apiece. Chopper, tough play for Renhifo. Got a hurry off balance throw. What a play by Walsh. What footwork. Wow. With a play like that, this is take it on in. That footwork's incredible. You've got a freight train coming up the line at you. We hope it's a 1 2 3 inning for Gregory Soto here, Keats. Last time he pitched was in the win against Cleveland. Down the right field line. Three Tigers giving chase, and Harold Castro makes an unbelievable grab. Came out of nowhere to snatch it out of there. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how much communication went on down there, but Harold just kept running, and everybody else pulled up. He just stabbed at it, and he got it. Ground ball to short. Could be two. The turn from Clemens. You bet it is. And the Tigers win it 4-3. Nice bounce back win for Detroit after falling 1-0 last night. They do just enough to even the series with a one-run victory here today.